What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Vanguard first because there has been a quick update, very quick, not worth making an entire video on. Uh, but mainly, I want to talk about the future of Call of Duty. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a follow up video to the Microsoft video because, you know, I, I talked about the news, you know, we talked about breaking news and stuff like that. But now I want to talk more so about like what the future could look like, you know, what like Microsoft could be planning, uh, how that could impact Activision's, you know, shareholders and and the developers for Activision and all that kind of stuff, uh, because Microsoft handles games differently than Activision, as we know. So uh, I want to talk about the future potential. Uh, and, you know, before I get into it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. It's just some some random Vanguard gameplay. I, I think it's just i don't know respawn or whatever so anyway real quick notes about uh the vanguard patch update that happened yesterday so let's go over that real quick the first thing is the perks the fortified perk is no longer granting like full immunity to any fire damage from basically the flame knot and the incendiary grenade but in my opinion it was really nice to play ship house and stuff like that and not worry about fire at all um i think that's obviously broken you know <laughs> it definitely wasn't intentional and so it's good that they're fixing the game, I guess, but in my opinion, it was a glitch or an error that I think that they should have kept. You know, I really don't think it's fun being on fire 24 uh, seven. And I'm hoping that this fortified thing, they didn't nerf it into oblivion. I haven't gone on to check yet at the time of making this video, but hopefully they didn't nerf it into the point where it's like pretty much constantly on fire and fortified does nothing. I, I really hope that's not the case. Uh, so it, it's good that they fixed it. You know, fortified was kind of broken, especially in hardcore modes. But at the same time, it was really fun and enjoyable to just not be on fire all day because for, for some reason, Sledgehammer Games just wants us to be on fire. They're literally buffing flamethrowers and incendiary grenades in this aspect. So cool for them, I guess. I don't know. A couple other things regarding weapons and kill streaks, but the main thing that I noticed and that I think a lot of people are going to notice is the akimbo double barrel shotguns that I've been preaching about. Uh, the damage has been reduced. The buck and slug range has been reduced. So essentially, you know, we, were, we weren't we were supposed to be getting headshot multiplier damage when shooting limbs, but apparently that's been the case for the past two months, which is why the shotguns have been so broken. Uh, so now they're going to be still good. You know, according to exclusive ace, I did see a tweet from him where he mentioned that they're not going to be like you know unusable uh, but they're definitely not going to be as nuts as they currently were before today's update so cool you know good stuff you're definitely gonna have to hit more pellets and you're gonna have to aim a little bit sometimes in search and destroy you could just literally just panic hit the button you know your whatever your shoot button is and sometimes you'll just pull out a kill out of nowhere you know you don't even have to aim because the, the spread is so big and they deal so much damage so you know, maybe now you're going to have to actually aim when using these guns and show some resemblance of skill, but that remains to be seen. I'll probably test it out tonight and tomorrow and, and I'll get back to you on how good or bad they become. But enough about all that jargon. Let's talk about the future of Call of Duty. Now, the first thing that people are suspecting is going to be the case when it comes to the Microsoft acquisition and how Call of Duty is going to change is a bigger focus on the ranked playlists, right? For instance, Halo, a game made by Xbox or maybe not made, but sold by Xbox, Xbox exclusive. They have a huge focus on their ranked playlist, right? They really care about it. Uh, you know, honestly, it's basically every game except Call of Duty now that I think about it. Even a game like Hearthstone has a ranked play and a casual play. Uh, a game like Valorant has casual, unrated, and ranked, right? Like, there's, it just makes sense. You know, in gaming, it just makes sense. I don't know why we can't launch with a ranked playlist in a game like Call of Duty, a game that requires, I don't want to say a lot of skill, but like there is a skill gap and there should be skill base to a degree but it shouldn't be as thick as it is in casual modes that we've been saying this for years now can you believe that the last time we had a good league play system or ranked playlist in call of duty was black ops 2 over 10 years ago you know i just what has happened since black ops 2 in terms of call of duty in terms of ranked playlists has just been completely joke the next cool thing that might happen again these are not you know guarantees they're just like suspicions is that cod's annual release schedule might end so you know when it comes to call of duty we know that it comes out every single year and most people who get it every single year aren't super happy with the product until you know that game has been out for about a year take black ops 4 for instance right i complained about that game a lot in its in its life cycle 
and pretty much by the end pretty much by like june or july it was pretty much fixed and i really enjoyed that game and i definitely enjoyed the game a lot more during modern warfare's year same goes for modern warfare same goes for cold war and i'm assuming same will go for vanguard you know we're really just hating the game right now but i'm pretty sure by this time next year we're gonna be like eh that game wasn't that bad or this game definitely got better stuff like that because these games need time to breathe these games need time to be developed and activision i mean they have to churn out that that money machine pretty much by the end of every single year uh they definitely didn't care about their developers in the sense of like hey maybe you guys need a break maybe you guys need some time to create some innovative ideas nah let's just rehash and return you know remastered maps and and the same kind of ideas and stuff like that don't don't really innovate from perks and streaks just kind of reuse stuff you know why not Halo fans, on the other hand, had to wait six years between Guardians and Infinite. And I mean, I don't think we're going to wait that long for Call of Duty cycles, but I don't think it's going to be every single year. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping it won't be, you know, I'm hoping that each Call of Duty title that comes out, maybe it's every two, every other year, you know, uh, maybe it'll be way, way better, way less buggy. And we won't have to worry about stupid, stupid things like the inability to join up on your friends. Like, what is that about? How do you not fix that? That should be like one of the core things, you know, if it's something like, you know, a gun is like slightly broken, like that's to be expected. I don't really care if you take some time to fix that, but inherent like game launch issues like that should not be the case you know your game not starting your game kicking you out server snapshot errors like all that stuff needs to be fixed like asap they should have been fixed before the game launched i just i really hope that microsoft changes the way they do things and hopefully incentivizes developers to actually like care about their games and have enough time to finish games and the last major thing that I think would be pretty cool uh, if Microsoft was able to do this from the buyout is remaster old school Call of Duty games and put them on the Xbox Game Pass or the PC Game Pass, you know, whatever. Um, so Game Pass, as you guys know, has been a huge focus for Xbox, right? It gives people the ability to play hundreds, maybe thousands of games starting at like 10 bucks a month. So if they were able to somehow put, you know, your Xbox Game Pass and your PC Game Pass like merge together, uh, and remaster it so that everyone pays, you know, 10 bucks a month or whatever. I think people will gladly pay $10 a month in order to relive the glory days and play Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, unhacked, uh, not changed at all. You know, you don't have to remaster per se. You could just leave it as is and maybe kind of update it a little bit, you know, maybe put like an FOV slider, maybe make the graphics a little sharper, that kind of stuff. You don't have to make the whole game again, just release the same game again on Xbox and PC Game Pass. Obviously make it cross-play because if you don't have cross-play, the game's gonna die. We take a look at Blackout if you don't believe me. This is personally what I'm most excited for and I really hope that Microsoft goes in this direction. Uh, cross-play just needs to be the future right like xbox is cool pc is cool playstation is cool but at the end of the day we want to play with our friends and we don't want to be limited to the games we play and the, how much fun we can have depending on the machine that you bought versus the machine that i bought right that just makes no sense we're living in 2022 i think that people should get a pc if they can afford it uh, i think it's just the ultimate smoothest gaming system and gaming i don't know experience you know best graphics you can add filters uh, you can customize it as much as you want consoles are much more simple and I mean, you're not going to get as good frames. You're not going to get as good performance. Um, you might lag more. You know, there's a lot of negatives that come with consoles. And while I'm talking about, you know, old remasters, there has been a rumor. I don't know if you guys heard of this, but there has been a rumor that an updated version of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer was in development at one point. And honestly, the Xbox or PC Game Pass would be the perfect place to release that, right? Because you'd have so much hype, you'd have so many people excited to get on that and relive the glory days, especially because ever since Modern Warfare 2019 came out, a lot of people haven't really enjoyed COD, you know? I know a lot of new people love Modern Warfare 2019, but a lot of the OGs, they can't stand it. And a lot of the new people end up quitting when Cold War and Vanguard were unfortunately rushed out of production. I say all this to say, I think that Microsoft should do a lot of things right uh, they don't have to but i think that they should do a lot of these changes and make changes towards the cod franchise you don't want it to seem like activision's still in charge when microsoft is for like two years you know what you know, the purpose of buying it out buying a company out and and doing stuff like that is to make your name on it is to put your name on it right and make your name more known so if you change it for the better which i'm hoping that microsoft does 
they're obviously going to be more known people are going to trust them more i think it's going to be ultimate dubs for microsoft at the end of the day uh, i saw a survey that said 54 percent of cod fans are happy about the activision buyout that's not as high as i thought you know i really thought that more people would be happy about it uh, i'm personally much more happy with microsoft and activision and maybe this because i know more about activision i don't know as much about microsoft interestingly enough but anyway that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it uh if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new i will definitely be updating you guys on more vanguard updates dropping in the future uh, i know that there definitely will be because they said so and again season two has been delayed so you know we definitely have to cover that but if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you're new ring that bell notification follow me on twitter twitch and discord and again thanks so much for watching uh, have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.